Coming up on this episode of Disney with Washington, Imagineering the Disney Wish, Disney 23 Magazine celebrates 50th magical years, gear up for a super shopping spree, Monsters Inc. Laughing Floor reopens, Disney Magical Express turns into Mirrors Connect, Refurbishment scrims coming down. Donald Duck gold statue. Walt Disney World hiring Monorail and Skyline cast members. The Mad Hatter and the Fab 50. And the first look at the 50th anniversary merchandise. Now hit the music. <laughs> How's it going guys? It's me Steve. Here's the latest in Disney news. Let's get into it. The Whale House, also known as the Bridge, is an incredibly important part of any ship. The captain and officers command the entire ship from the location. The Whale House for the Disney Wish is near our completion and is part of a huge block to be installed on the ship and the building dock. Disney has eagerly awaited this moment, as this block will truly give the Disney Wish an identity. The wheelhouse was very carefully designed both from a navigational and functional means, but also from the aesthetic point of view. With the lifting and installation of this very large and very wide block, the next milestone in the impressive construction process is achieved. The second main building part of the Disney Wish, the entire foreship, has now been constructed. The next part will be to get the first building part, the so-called Gigablock, to be married to the foreship. Following this, the remaining aft blocks will be lifted and installed to complete the entire ship. So more to come very soon. All the ships in the Disney fleet have very elegant lines with sleek hulls and long bows, and the Disney Wish will certainly carry on this tradition. As construction of the newest ship is progressing at full speed, another important milestone has been achieved. Just installed is the impressive bow of the Disney Wish, where Captain Minnie will be featured in a beautifully designed medallion and filigree. As part of the shipyard's high-tech block building principle, the bow block has been lifted and installed to reveal the graceful bow of the Disney Wish. This block is just one of nearly 100 total blocks and and the tip of the bow alone weighs an impressive 500 metric tons. The entire process of lifting, installing, and fully welding the bow block while being suspended from the overhead gantry crane took just under 10 hours. Following the successful installation of this bow block, there are just over 30 blocks remaining to be installed in the upcoming weeks to complete the Disney Wish in time for the ship's maiden voyage in June 2022. D23, the official Disney fan club, is committed to bringing the latest and greatest in-depth info to their fans, especially with Disney 23, their gold member exclusive quarterly publication. This quarter, the spotlight turns to the most magical celebration on Earth, showcasing 50 years of memories at Walt Disney World Resort. Stories include a deep dive into the festivities in store for guests when they arrive at the celebration, including a revealing look at the new Epcot nighttime spectacular, Harmonious. Also included is a bonus chapter from the upcoming book, A Portrait of Walt Disney World, 50 Years of the Most Magical Place on Earth, looking at some of the park's most beloved entertainment through the years, as well as a glimpse at classic park collectibles through the years. The front cover featuring Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse in front of Cinderella Castle in the iridescent attire, and back cover with Remy and Emile from Disney and Pixar's Ratatouille welcoming guests to their new attraction at the Epcot France Pavilion 
were shot exclusively for Disney 23. In other Disney parks, experience and products news, D23 writers also took a look at the past, present, and future of Tokyo Disney Sea, which celebrates its 20 year anniversary starting in September, called Tokyo Disney Sea 20th Time to Shine. As if that wasn't enough, the fall 2021 issue also offers tons of other great stories from around the company, such as two feature films, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings and Internals, and beloved regular features including By the Numbers, Character Analysis, and As the Walt Disney Archives. I'm patiently waiting for that issue to come out and to be mailed to me so I can read it and be ready for the 50th. By now you've heard that Disney's Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel, at Disneyland Paris is officially open. The hotel has over 350 pieces of contemporary artwork on display, showcasing the vast scope of the Marvel Universe. But it also has an amazing New York boutique, a boutique fully dedicated to the Marvel Universe, where you can find and purchase reproductions of Marvel artwork displayed in the hotel, plus other fun superhero souvenirs that will delight Marvel and Disney fans alike. Disney Parks pin trading collectors will want to get their hands on a pin direct from the boutique in Hotel New York itself, which reflects the beautiful architecture and design of the hotel. Configured as a museum shop, the boutique also has keychains, coffee mugs, and magnetic frames that are easy to take home with you. Guests are most excited about the Iron Man armors, which are reproductions of the life-size armors displayed in the lobby of the hotel. These impressive suits are the result of a collaboration between the amazing Walt Disney Imagineers and the teams at Disneyland Paris and Marvel Studios. These are definitely way cooler than anything I've seen in any hotel boutique. The architecture of New York boutique is even inspired by the Tony Stark Hall of Armors, so this is not going to be your typical hotel shopping experience. These hotel exclusive products can only be purchased in the boutique. Monsters Inc. Glass Floor in Tomorrowland at the Magic Kingdom has reopened yesterday, a couple of days ahead of the planned August 8th return. Operating hours are variable over the next week, with most days having a 12 to 8 p.m. schedule. However, August 10th has a 3.30 to 8.30 p.m. schedule and August 14th is scheduled for 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The show has been closed since the Walt Disney World theme parks closed in March 2020 and did not reopen with a park in July 2020. Mears Transportation, the third-party operator of the existing Disney Magical Express, is now accepting bookings for its new Mears Connect service beginning January 1st, 2022. Mears Connect will serve Orlando International Airport in the Disney Resort area with two service levels, Standard and Premium. Standard is a shared service on bus or van, making a limited number of stops on the way to your destination. Premium is a direct service with limited to no wait time. Introductory rates for the Standard Round Trip service are 32 per adult and 27 per child. Premium rates are 200 for up to four passengers and $55 per additional passenger. Disney has previously announced its plan to end Magical Express Airport transportation at the end of 2021. In a statement, Disney said, vacationers have more options to choose from than ever for transportation including rideshare services that save time and offer more flexibility to go where they want. When Disney Resort Hotel bookings open for stays in 2022, we will no longer offer Disney's Magical Express service for airport transportation starting with arrivals January 1st, 2022. We will continue to operate the service for new and existing reservations made at Disney Resort Hotels for arrivals throughout 2021. Additionally, 
complementary transportation options such as buses, monorails, and Disney Skyliner will continue to be available within Walt Disney World Resort for Disney Resort hotel guests, including to and from all four theme parks. Disney's Magical Express service reopened from the COVID-19 shutdown in mid-July, but has not provided luggage delivery service for those arriving and departing from the airport. Magical Express has launched in 2005 and quickly became a popular option for guests staying at Walt Disney World hotels, often saving hundreds of dollars on transportation costs. The Main Street USA train station at the main entrance to the Magic Kingdom is beginning to emerge from behind its refurbishment scrims. Scrims have been in place for several months as the exterior of the building is being refurbished ahead of the park's 50th anniversary beginning October 1st. The side face of the park is still mostly behind scrims. The next Disney Fat 50 character to be announced is Donald Duck. Animator Eric Goldberg, who animated Donald for Grand Fiesta Tour at Epcot, helped Walt Disney Animation Studios make the reveal. The Disney Fat 50 character collection celebrates Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. Donald will be at Magic Kingdom alongside Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Daisy. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm Eric Goldberg, a director and animator here at Walt Disney Animation Studios. Seeing audiences connect with your work through the magic of the movies is a thrill for any animator. But one of my most uniquely rewarding projects involved not a feature film, but a Walt Disney World theme park attraction for the Grand Fiesta Tour starring the Three Caballeros at Epcot. I got to animate Black, one of my favorite classic characters. It was the thrill of a lifetime. So I'm excited to announce that Donald Duck will soon be part of the Disney Fat 50 character collection at Walt Disney World Resort. Look for his sculpture at Magic Kingdom Park beginning October 1st and throughout the world's most magical celebration. From Donald Duck and everyone who shares his sweet disposition, happy 50th Walt Disney World. While Disney World is looking for new monorail and Disney Skyliner cast members as theme park capacity increases and transportation gets busier, here are the job description details. Monorail's cast members are focused on creating magic for our guests during their Walt Disney World Resort stay by ensuring the highest standards of safety while piloting, loading, and unloading, spieling, and directing guests throughout Walt Disney World Resort. Monorail's hosts and hostess receive a starting rate of $15.45 an hour. Their responsibilities are to greet and examine boarding identification, load and unload guests, pilot monorail vehicles, drive company vehicles, have strong memorization skills, operate a smartphone radio to communicate, perform multiple tasks simultaneously. Walt Disney World is also hiring a monorail system specialist. The Disney Skyliner gondola is part-time. The sky is the limit as we bring to life the iconic mode of transportation where our gondola cast members will soar to unparalleled heights of guest service on our new mode gondolas Disney Skyliner. Gondola cast members are responsible for greeting guests, loading and unloading cabins, monitoring and operating the gondola system, delivering narrations of varying limbs, and providing audience control while always ensuring our guests and cast members' safety. Gondola hosts and hostess receive a starting rate of $14 an hour. Their responsibilities are greet and welcome guests using themed greetings, comfortable with heights and experiencing the Skyliner as a passenger while traveling from station to station, drive company vehicles, memorize prepare guest information and deliver via microphone, continuously walking and standing to direct guests for extended periods of time, comfortable speaking in front of large groups. 
you can apply for the positions at jobs.disneycareers.com. The Mad Hatter is joining the Cheshire Cat in the Disney Fat 50 character collection for Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. Ashley Eckstein showed off some of her Alice in Wonderland themed house in a video on Disney social media to announce the Mad Hatter's gold statue. The Mad Hatter statue will be at Magic Kingdom. Let's take a look again. Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Eckstein. While you may recognize my voice from a galaxy far, far away, those who know me well will tell you that I feel equally at home in Wonderland. My lifelong obsession with Alice in Wonderland has filled my house with just the right amount of nonsense, including right here in my dining room, where every meal feels like a very merry birthday. Now I'm delighted to announce that the Mad Hatter, who I imagine would feel right at home here, will soon be part of the Disney Fab 50 character collection at Walt Disney World Resort. Look for his sculpture at Magic Kingdom Park beginning October 1st and throughout the world's most magical celebration. From the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, and everyone who believes that any day is worth celebrating, happy 50th Walt Disney World. Do you remember your first pair of Mickey ears? What about your first Disney plush toy? For almost 50 years, guests from around the world have commemorated their Walt Disney World Resort trips of sentimental souvenirs that serve as timeless reminders of their vacations. Over the years, carefully curated merchandise collections have been an important piece of Walt Disney World history. Today, I'm giving you the first look at the merchandise collections inspired by the world's mo- Today, I'm giving you the first look at the merchandise collections inspired by the world's most magical celebration that begins October 1st. If you are planning a Walt Disney World vacation during the 18th month anniversary celebration and are looking to take home a token of the magic, I'm excited to share a preview of the new collections debuting this fall across Walt Disney World Resort with select items available at shopdisney.com. Available beginning on August 12th, this must-have pre-celebration collection Features limited time products, perfect for Disney fans who are visiting Walt Disney World Resort before the official 50th anniversary festivities begin. If you're an annual pass holder, make sure to check out this special long sleeve t-shirt exclusively for you. Launching at the start of the celebration, three new collections will appear across Walt Disney World Resort with select items available on shopdisney.com. Two more anniversary collections will debut later this fall. From accessories by Dooney and Burke and festive headwear to coordinating Mommy and the Me assembles and fan favorites a soap dispenser, the Celebration Collection offers a wide-ranging assortment of commemorative merchandise for the whole family perfect for mixing and matching. The iconic Magic Kingdom Park landmark, Cinderella Castle, serves as the inspiration behind this new collection. Favorite items include the collectible ornaments, the castle-themed mug, and of, and of course, the light of uh, Minnie Mouse ear headband. This collection is sure to be a favorite among longtime fans. It offers retro themed designs inspired by items from the Walt Disney archives. Paying tribute to 50 years of Walt Disney World magic, the collection includes an assortment of opening day favorites, such as a 2021 rendition of the original Mickey Mouse ear hat, throwback t-shirt styles, and vintage inspired plush toys. And best of all, there'll be more blasts from the past joining the collection as the celebration continues. You may have noticed the new iridescent decor on Cinderella Castle, and you will soon see more of it around Walt Disney World Resort in honor of the 50th anniversary. The latest color collection will debut in late October, 
and features everything from a mini backpack by Launchfly and a spirit jersey to a set of sparkling mini ears. And there's more to come. This fall, look for a one of a kind retail displays that will incorporate Disney storytelling into your 50th merchandise shopping experience. The imaginative displays will pop up at select merchandise locations across Walt Disney World. Thank you guys for all your love and support. The channel is growing, so let's keep it up. I enjoy giving news about all things Disney. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos. For more content, subscribe to Instagram, which is Disney with Washington, where we've hit 3,200 followers. Also, check out my Spotify playlist for some great Disney tune skis. Today's shout out goes to Disney Living. She shares throwback Disney videos from her childhood and other behind the scenes Disney featurettes. Her link to her channels are down in the description section. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who follows my content through Instagram, YouTube, and Spotify. Right now, we're at 70 YouTube subscribers. Let's walk down Main Street USA to get to 80. Again, thanks for the support. And remember guys, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. It's time for some blue ooh, ubers. Are you so super excited to see them on YouTube? Man, that was very out of tune. Mars transportation, not Mars bar. Many, 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 many. many not the words the world again it's many including world of disney at disney springs i cannot wait to get these products for the 50th it's time for some blue ubers are you so super Excited to see them on YouTube. Man, that was very out of tune.